Okay, this uh, video is in conjunction with the other video that shows you how to create templating for any form. Here we have a wound care form and we're going to show you how to set up templating for that wound care form so that you can come back time and time again in order to fill it out. So again, if you double click on any text box in OpenEMR, this works for any text box on any form, do that, you're going to get this thing here. All right, so in order to set this up, you have to first personalize it, and you have to add context. Context. So I'm going to add a context here. I'm going to click Add, and then I'm going to give it a context of HPI because that's the field that I'm filling out. Your context should match your field, makes it easier to uh, uh, mm, use later. That's the words I'm looking for. So I'm going to save that. So now I got my HPI context and close that. Now I got to give it categories. Now if I choose add category then I'm going to choose my context of HPI and this I'm going to now as far as category let's say you can see here where I put new patient old patient you can name the category and you can categorize your templates as you may need them you need them for certain instances so I'm going to go ahead and go with new patient on this one so this is my template that I'm going to add category for a new patient. I'm going to add that. It's going to tell me that it was successfully added. You're not going to see anything on this screen. Oh, yes you do. Sorry. Over here, HPI. Alright, so I can take this and... Oh, never mind. It's over here. Ignore me for now. So I'm going to close this. Now, when I go back to here, if I click on category, sorry, click on context, you'll see I have my HPI context and also here I have my new patient. Now I can start adding templates that I want to use. So this will be my, my first template, whatever, and it can be as long as you want it to be, as much text as you want to put in there. And remember, it's only text. Do not use any HTML or any formatting. It's strictly just text. So I'm gonna save that, and then I can, again, I can add more. And I'm going to add a third one just for good measure. All right, so I'll save that. Now, if I once I type my context, if I double click on it or just click on it you can see it puts it in here also it turns it red to let me know that I've used it okay and on the text box side if I oh sorry this is since this is a single text box it's not a text area I'm only going to give one line of text so it doesn't matter I'm going to go ahead and add this and then I'm going to say insert into form and there it is now if I want to do context for or a, a template for this form here I'm going to go ahead and click this and now these are per person by the way so I'm um, oops I did change HPI so that's wrong let me go back and I want to add a context and uh, I forgot which one I'm doing already so let's do this close out of this close out of this close out of this and current medications okay current medications and eh, all right I don't know if I want to do a, a template for that one. Let's see, medication history, allergies, element, let's see, surgical history, and hospitalization, uh, social history. So some of these things, it eh, depends on how you want to play them out. I know like review of systems, that might be one you want to add a set of instructions to. So if I go here, and I'm going to add a new context. So it's the same process every time. And so I'm going to put review of systems. Okay, save, and close this, and now I'm going to add a category to the review of systems, and still, I'm going to use new patient again, just to keep it simple for me, add new patient, go OK, now you can see review of system, new patient, and when I close this, that reloaded, so now I can do review of systems, do category, new patient, and I start adding text here.
how many minutes? Five minutes. Okay, so that's done. Save that. And if I'm ready to use it, just double click or click on it once. It puts it in the form and I go insert the form. There it is. Alright, so the last thing I'm going to show you is that I'm not going to save this for now. What I'm going to do is just dump out of here, close this. And if I go back in to his chart and open up the testing, I didn't save anything on purpose. I'm going to go to Wound Care. Okay, if I expand this. Now, when I go back in and double click, I can go to my HPI, go to my category, new patient, and I can put what I need in there, insert into form, and go on to my review of system, double click again, choose review of system, my patient category, and look, add that into my form, and there I'm done. All right, so again, you can do this for every box that's on here and everything that's in your form, okay? So if you want to add general and if you need to do any of them, you can add. Thanks. Bye.